Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to explain to you what muscle memory is and how can we utilize it to our advantage in training. COVID-19 has forced many of us to take an unplanned long-term hiatus from the gym. Breaks from training can be good for our body, but if you have been quarantined and taken a few months off, it is likely you have experienced losses in strength and size. So, when will your muscle bounce back once you do start training and lifting again? The good news is, it won't be like you are starting from day one, since you have likely built a foundation of strength and muscle memory with all your hard work so far. Of course, this also doesn't mean getting it back will be an easy process. You still have to put in the work, eat right and have a structured plan of attack. But muscle memory and strength training are like that cliche about riding a bike. Once you learned it, you are able to get back into the groove even after an extended break. Now watch till the end of this video and let's take a deeper look at what muscle memory can do for you. If you like this video and find this useful, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but we'll have the channel to grow. Thank you. So what exactly is muscle memory? Well, muscle memory is the act of committing a specific motor task into memory through repetition. While your muscles themselves can't actually remember anything, they are full of neurons attached to your nervous system that play a role in motor learning. Any movement requires brain activity, and repeating a movement, even complicated ones, enough times trigger recognizable patterns in your brain regions responsible for motor skills, thus leading to a learned motion that will require less brain power in the future. So, how long does it take to achieve muscle memory? Well, it takes many hours to master a skill like playing the piano. However, it requires much less time to reap the benefits of muscle memory for hypertrophy training. Research suggests that two to four weeks of strength training induces neurological adaptation. So exactly how does muscle memory work? The phenomenon of muscle memory is most commonly discussed when looking at muscle atrophy or when you stop training for a long period of time, resulting in potential muscle loss. Many believe muscle memory will allow you to regain muscle size and strength rather quickly. However, muscle memory is more the result of learned motor skills and less about muscle growth. Where the confusion stems from is the fact that achieving muscle memory tends to go hand in hand with improved performance and increase in muscle cells, both of which play a key role in gaining mass. When we achieve hypertrophy in the gym, our muscle fibers experience an increase in a type of cell known as myonuclei. These cells' main job are to help us to get stronger and increase our muscle fiber size. So, research suggests that effects of previous strength training can be long-lived even after prolonged subsequent inactivity, and retraining is facilitated by a previous training episode. This is the result of muscle memory. In fact, multiple studies suggest that while muscle fibers can decrease in size while we stop training, the number of myonuclei appears to stay stable even for extended periods of time and in atrophic muscles for up to three months of inactivity. Therefore, those cells are still there when we go back to the gym, ready to synthesize proteins and merge muscle fibers quicker than they did the first time round. So, how to use muscle memory to your advantage? Muscle memory is one factor to consider when it comes to rebuilding your strength and mass after a period of inactivity, but it is not the only consideration. How quickly you can regain lost mass depends on your starting fitness level, time away from weights, and nutrition. People with larger muscle mass who don't have access to the equipment, such as barbells or strength machines, will have a harder time maintaining the muscle size than smaller individuals who can maintain the muscle through alternative forms of fitness, such as band workout and bodyweight exercises. Another consideration, for example, a 2015 Danish study found that young physically fit people who became immobile lost one third of the muscular strength, while older people only lost one-fourth. Food intake is also a big factor. If your body is used to consuming enough calories to power you through your gym sessions and you all of a sudden stop eating as much, that calorie deficit is going to lead to a decrease in size. If you are forced to take a break from the gym, be sure not to skimp on your protein intake. 
In one study, increased protein intake reduced the loss of lean body mass in athletes even when they weren't training. So, on the matter of when those muscles will return, one study suggested that immobilized people take three times the amount of time they were out of action to restore the muscle mass. However, unless you literally haven't left your couch in three months, you're most likely not immobilized and your window will be much shorter. In a more recent study, active people who stopped training for 12 weeks were able to regain their muscles and get back to their one rep max after just eight weeks back in the gym. What I'm trying to say in this video is that there's no reason to panic if you haven't been able to do some hardcore training in a while. If you have dedicated most of your life to stay fit and eating right, you will be back on track before you know it. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.